Hello everyone, we're going to do something a little bit different today. In Hotline Miami, there's some confusion concerning two of the characters in the series, the Ghost Wolf soldier Daniels and the 50 Blessings operative Jake. These two characters seem like they're the same person, but they're actually not. Their facial structure and eyes are different, they have totally different attitudes, and Denaton has even come out to say they're separate characters, although I can't find the actual quote. Additionally, Daniels likely perished in the Ghost Wolves' final mission when the Russian power plant they were tasked with attacking blew up, so it's unlikely he survived into 1989. But you know what? Let's ignore the facial differences, Daniels' unlikely survival, everything like that, and suspend our disbelief for a few minutes just to entertain the notion that they are the same person. What could have caused Daniels the Soldier to eventually become Jake the Jingoistic Patriot? Well, let's start from the beginning. Along with Beard and Jacket, Daniels is a member of the Ghost Wolves unit that fought in Hawaii. During these missions, he's shown to be a calm man, never speaking or acting impulsively. In the outro of C9, his dialogue implies he seems to be restraining Barnes from freely killing their Soviet prisoners. And in the outro of Scene 14, after the Wolves complete their supposed last mission and the rest want to celebrate, he recommends they keep their wits about them and save the celebration for when the others arrive. These interactions with the others in the unit make it feel like he acts as a makeshift leader of the Ghost Wolves, acting as the voice of reason to the others. In their last mission, Barnes and Jacket are injured in an explosion that rocks the power plant the unit is attacking, and Daniels rushes to Barnes' side. Beard and Jacket flee the scene, but it's implied that Daniels stayed with Barnes, dying with him when the rest of the complex eventually crumbles around him. However, in this alternate history, he somehow makes it out of the power plant and survives. After this mission, Daniels, along with his squad mates Beard and Jacket, is discharged from the military. He once told Barnes that he was a teacher before the war, and now that his fighting is over, he intends to return to teaching. However, Daniels' experiences from the war, such as killing people, watching one of his close friends get blown in half and die in front of his eyes, and being abandoned by members of his own unit traumatized him, and he has trouble coping with this trauma. He becomes emotionally unstable and begins having trouble at work and becomes distant from his friends and family. In his heart, a private hatred is growing. Then on April 3rd, 1986, everything changes for the worse. On this day, the Soviet Union drops a nuclear bomb on San Francisco, utterly destroying the city. This bombing culminates in America's defeat in the Russo-American War. In the years that follow, the governments of America and Russia begin negotiations to create a peace treaty between the countries, which eventually creates the Russo-American Coalition. And this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Dismayed at this cooperation with the people that destroyed an American city, Daniel's trauma runs wild, and the hatred growing in his heart takes over. His previous calm demeanor is replaced by one of hate and anger. He participates in Russian protests and signs up for a patriotic organization to defy the Russians and empower America. But his extreme patriotism is often jingoism, and the protests he participates in become violent. Then suddenly, he begins receiving strange messages on his phone. Messages that ask him to attack Russian gangsters leading into the story of Jake in Hotline Miami 2. However, this isn't what happened. The two characters are not one and the same. Besides their facial differences, Daniels likely died along with Barnes in the destruction of the power plant in 1985. Honestly, I feel like this is a missed opportunity by Denaton. The fictional Jake Daniels story has many of the same beats as Jackets. Both fought in Hawaii as a special forces operative, both had a close friend die in an explosion caused by the Russians. Both joined 50 Blessings as a way to resist the Russians and empower America. And both gave in to their animalistic desires when the phone messages began pouring in. However, in contrast to Jacket, Jake Daniels is killed during a mission, even though he has the same training as Jacket. His death could have really demonstrated the very real danger these operatives were put in, and how unique Jacket and his story was since he was able to survive all of his missions. But that was my attempt to rationalize the speculation that Jake and Daniels are the same character. I know it's pretty different from the typical stuff, but I hope you still enjoyed nonetheless. If 
you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you later. Jacket spends most of his time in Hotline Miami being sent to murder violent gangsters by strange messages left on his phone. But interspersed between this mayhem, Jacket visits his friend Beard, whose disposition greatly contrasts with the Russian gangsters. 